said that Ben Bowler is a guy who makes sure everybody knows how much this rivalry game means to him. Is that something you've seen from Ben this week? Well, I haven't seen anything. I don't need to talk about it and have a conversation. He, he I know how he feels, and, and all of our guys do. So uh, there's not a lot that needs to be said, and uh, this is an incredibly important game, uh, easily the most uh, emotional uh, game that we'll have all year, and uh, everything's at stake. And um, uh, you know, it's just not just for this year, you know, to, to win. It's uh, it's, it's yeah, it's important for the season, but it's important, uh, you know, for these guys and their legacy too. And um, so, uh, but uh, it still comes down to again, you know, being the most physical team and executing and those kinds of things. So you don't want, uh, you know, emotion to, um, you know, to be a distraction either. And I think the really good players and really good teams understand how to channel that energy and that passion, that emotion, the right way. And our, our job as coaches to help guide that too, you know, and, and uh, but uh, you want to have, you want them to have their moment too. How much of Ben and Cordray, Carlos, Jadar, that whole senior class made a difference for this team this year? Uh, they've been great. Uh, they've been great. They've been great leaders and uh, they've all played incredibly well uh, for us and, and uh, usually uh, to have a chance to to be good, your best players need to, and, and your older guys, you know, need to play well. And uh, so, fortunately, um, you know, those guys have really played at a really high, consistent level. So, you know, if, if they weren't, or if they were inconsistent, then you'd have to play younger players that maybe aren't quite as ready more. And at some spots, that might hurt you. And um, so, it's a lot of times those older guys, they, they don't, it's, you know, uh, I don't take it for granted. I know we don't. Uh, but a, a lot of a lot of times, I say a lot of times, sometimes those older guys come in and they get a little bit distracted, particularly if they have a, a football future beyond college, and uh, and for whatever reason, it, it's kind of an albatross for them to just turn it loose and have fun and, and, and play at a high, consistent level. And uh, this is a year that it, you know, it, uh, through whatever, how many games have we had? Eleven. Yeah. Is it eleven games? So through eleven games, it's been really good and uh, great focus and great leadership. And I just think that they really care um, about their team and uh, their teammates and the, the, the constituency, the fans, and just represent the right way. And, uh, you know, and they really value what it means to be a senior and be a leader. With Brian Edwards, you guys, I think you recruited him on defense. So um, what did you see in him as a football player? Uh, I see a guy I wish we had in our secondary uh, right now. He's what you want. He's a great competitor, uh, tough guy, plays with a lot of passion, emotion, very physical, uh, very confident, aggressive, a uh, great kid, uh, super, super human being, and uh, he's done real well for them. Still without Pagano, um, how, how pleased are you with uh, Albert's play the last couple of weeks? And uh... He's getting better. Just overall in the season, Albert's getting better and um, needs to continue to work on his consistency. What I love about where he is right now, he, he, he knows. He doesn't have this, uh, this attitude like he's getting screwed. I should be playing more. Where's my reps, coach? Uh, it's like, okay, I need, to, I, need to, I need to focus a little more. I need to work a little harder, have a little more sense of urgency. And uh, Albert's a great young man. He's got a bright future. And uh, when he decides he's going to lay it on the line every day, all the time, and that's going to be who he is. That's, and that's part of the maturation process. And um, But he's come, and uh, I've seen some real flashes from him, and, and we need him. And uh, he's a big, strong, physical, athletic guy that's ultra talented, and again, he's got a huge personality. And uh, when he's at his best, he's playing with confidence, and um, and that comes through preparation. Does Drew Will feel much more comfortable now? I think he's, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think he's, <laughs> he's in a better spot. And uh, of course we knew that, but uh, you know sometimes that's what you got to do is uh, you know you got to uh, protect yourself. So um, you know and to Brills, same thing. You know go along with Albert. The running back Dowdle that they Dowdle, the running back that's kind of played the second part of the year. What has he brought to that offense? Uh, again, he's he's been consistent, uh, physical, instinctual, uh, runs behind his pass well, um, does a nice job. He's a jump cut player too. Uh, plays smart. You know, uh, he's patient. Same thing. They 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 they've got a few uh, really good young freshmen. Uh, they're playing really well for him, uh, and for any player, let alone as as freshmen. But you said down playing emotion in the game, but with the rivalry and all that it brings, and this team coming in at six and 
five bowl eligible. Mm -hmm. Looking to pretty much put a notch on their season come in and come and upset the Clemson Tigers. Well, we're trying to put a notch on our season too, and uh, and they're the next team. So I don't I don't buy all that. I don't buy the jargon that you know. Oh, they're gonna ruin our season, or that's that that if that's the motivation, then then they're thinking the wrong way, right. and I'm sure their coaches. That's not that's not what motivates you to play in this game and play the game, and uh, I, at least I don't I don't buy into that. That's a bunch of uh, I don't I don't I don't believe in that. But uh, that being said, you know that might be the talk, um, but you know. Our guys know they better be ready to play. You know, South Carolina's gone, and we're going to get their best shot. And they're playing better. You know, as the season's gone on, they've just gotten better and better. And playing with a lot of confidence right now. Uh, the hate in the heart is on both sides. And um, uh, the game isn't any more important to either one. And uh, there ain't no more pressure on one team or the other. You know, if they stand for what's right, you know, this game means everything to them. And, uh, and, and, a, and a week from now, that next game for us is going to mean everything too. And, um, but this game, you know, again, for a lot of other people uh, uh, that aren't in this football building every day, it it might go to an all-time high uh, from a, a you know uh, an interest or uh, we got to win it, and, uh, and and I get that too. You know, that's part of the rivalries. They're going across the country uh, this week, and everybody thinks they've got the biggest rivalry in college football. And though, uh, and I know in this state, they're nothing bigger and uh, more important uh, when it comes to all things football. All set.